Two million public sector workers all over Britain are on a massive strike over pensions. They've marched through many of the UK's major cities. Over half of all schools were closed, as were many offices, while hospitals have been badly affected and are being forced to focus on emergency care. Let's get more now from Marty's Laura Smith. She's live in London. Laura, you've been speaking to many of the people out on the streets there today. Just how angry are they with these measures? Well, they're very angry, and I think the scale of this strike uh, with, with uh, two million people walking out of their workplaces all over the country, uh, and it's the biggest strike for 30 years, really speaks to how angry people are about these proposed measures. We've seen a rally here in London today with approximately 20,000 people at it, but that's not even half the story. There have been rallies in cities throughout the country and also pickets outside individual workplaces. Now, um, this is a, a has been a largely, a very largely peaceful demonstration, although we are hearing very early reports of a breakaway group who have uh, raided a building not very far away from where I'm standing, in which the country's lo uh, highest paid CEO reportedly works. We'll be following that as it, as it develops. Uh, various polls have been done about uh, who supports uh, this strike action in this country, and a BBC poll says uh, around 61% of the population are in favour of it, despite the the fact that half schools, uh, half of all the schools have been closed, which has meant that parents have had to make special arrangements for childcare and haven't been able to go to work because of that. And also uh, there's been trouble or, or potential trouble at the airports uh, as border control officials have gone on strike, which has meant queues uh, to get into this country and airlines have also warned of delays to flights. Uh, hospitals, as we said, are accepting emergency cases only. And there are a huge range of people who have been on strike, teachers, nurses, nurses, doctors, including some uh, uh, categories of doctors who've never been on strike before. And altogether, 30, uh, around about 30 unions have supported this strike action. And what they're saying is that the new proposals for their pensions will mean they have to pay more into their pension schemes, work for longer, and then get less money out of them at the end of their, their working lives. Laura, it's not the first time the British people have been on strike in recent years over government policies. Will the politicians listen to them this time, though? I mean, it's not clear. These demonstrations that we've seen have been going on for a year now. We started with the students over the cost of education and that this is not the first time that public sector workers have been out on the streets either. Uh, Chancellor George Osborne has already come out and said that the strikes won't achieve anything, so that's not looking very good. And uh, Prime Minister David Cameron has already called them a damp squib. Uh, that will be fuel to the strikers' fire, though. They've already said that if nothing happens as a result of this strike, they will go on more strikes and they will strike for longer. Uh, now, now, this is also coming, of course, against a backdrop of the government constantly saying that there is no money, but uh, consistently bailing out uh, Eurozone countries, despite the fact that uh, Britain isn't part of the Eurozone. Earlier, I spoke to Alex Kenny from the National Union of Teachers, and here's what he said about that. Certainly people are saying we didn't pay for the crisis. We didn't pay for the banking crisis, and they bailed out the banks. And now working people are being made... Um, to, to pay for that, and, and they won't accept it. Today, we have an unprecedented 33 unions taking action, many of whom have never taken strike action before, and, and we will see today just the, how strongly people feel about it. The government will, of course, in the aftermath of the strike, be assess assessing the impact of it, how many workplaces were closed, what kind of services were disrupted. But it's not looking like they're going to take any notice, so it is looking like there will be more strikes. You can follow what's happened today on our Twitter feed, RT London Bureau. Uh, we will be uh, staying here to see how it develops. Laura Smith, as you say, more from you throughout the day. Live from London, thank you very much indeed for that update.